Hi guys, uh, Glorious Agro here, and I've tried to record this video like five times, and my brain is just not working correctly today. It's been a, a long work week. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to get this video out there because there's two cool things going on. One is freaking Back for Blood uses EAC, but it's working on Linux. I don't know what kind of voodoo magic they used or what kind of like mythical unicorn they've encompassed into getting this working, but it works. So we're going to show that off. And two, I have a 5700G that I have completely migrated my streaming uh, slash recording rig to. Um, so just a little background on that. My streaming slash recording rig was in a standard um, ATX case, mid, and it takes up a lot of space. And it's it's in a corner that's a part of a bookshelf, and I've got you know I've got some shelves removed, but it's really hard to get to the cables behind it because it's on the very bottom shelf, and it's like it's it's crammed in a corner. So what I wanted to do with that system was completely pull it out, gut it make it convert it into an itx build like a little tiny itx build but in order to do that uh, i needed to get rid of some components so the main thing that kept me in a normal build was i need i have a lot of usb devices connected to it so i needed extra usb bandwidth in order to do that i actually have an add-on usb3 card in addition to the usb3 uh, hubs that are already on the motherboard now the problem with that is I also had a dedicated GPU for uh, recording extra things. Like if I was to stream, I would stream using the processor and then record using uh, the GPU or vice versa. I would you know, stream using the GPU, record using the processor, one or the other. Well, now with these new APUs out, I can finally do both. I couldn't do it before because we were restricted to four cores, eight threads. But now I have an eight core, 16 thread monster with an iGPU that's capable of recording 1080p at decent quality that doesn't look like garbage. Um, so I can do that through an IP, for, through the APU now. Uh, before, obviously, I would have, I had a 5600X that was running the CPU side, and then I had a 5500XT, which was running the GPU side. That's going to be repurposed into another system that I'm doing for a different project. Uh, but for now, my recording rig is just the 5700G, and obviously I've got some I've got some RAM in there too. But there's nothing too crazy. It's a one it's a one terabyte NVMe, and the 5700G and more RAM that I need in there. I'm actually going to swap that out too because I need that I need to put that into a server that I'm working on for work. Uh, but anyway. As you can see right now, I've got my my streaming rigs uh, desktop up, and you can see the stats on there. Uh, nothing too crazy other than the, the new shiny processor there. And I wanted to show this off because I wanted to show that Vapi recording does work and it does work well. The problem is it doesn't work well on the older hardware. On your uh, Vega and Navi, like. You know, any anything Vega, anything Navi, any of the recent APUs, they all record perfectly fine. They re they record great. Um, the only times that you run maybe run into snags is if you're running Mesa Git, in which case you know, there's a give or take there. Uh, I had to run Mesa Stable here because Mesa Git has some vappy problems, but for recording, this is perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, uh, the Nav Navi cards work fine. Navi 1 and Navi 2, 5000 series, 6000 series. The Vega DGPUs work. The Vega APUs work. Obviously, this is using a Vega APU. And it works great. Here, let me bring up, and I'll just show you what I'm using. We'll go to our video, our output, recording. And you can see here... I'm just I'm using Vapi. I can't change it while I'm running it, obviously, but you see I'm just using Vapi. I've got two keyframe mineral and a 30 megabyte bitrate. Nothing too crazy, but I wanted to show you this so that you know that it works. 
Um, just don't go, don't try, don't try it with Polaris or older. Polaris or older, I found it's pretty much limited to 720p at 30 FPS. With Vega and higher, you can do 1080p 60 FPS, no freaking problem. Um, so that's the first thing. Let's now close that desktop, and you can see my main rig that I have up here, which I'm showing the settings off right now because people always ask to see it. It's Yes, I'm aware my rig is ridiculous, but keep in mind that I, I don't just use this for gaming. I use this for work, too. I have, like, a ton of VMs that I run on this. Um, keep, my, my day job is I am an engineer, so... Uh, don't worry, I'm not just throwing money at it for no reason. Um, anyway, let's get into the game. So we're going to run Back for Blood, right? I've got it up here. Oh, Steam, why you be dumb? Steam is being dumb. There it goes. Okay, so we're going to hit play here. I'm just using Proton GE and wait for it to come up. Look at that. EAC. It just loaded. Easy anti cheat just freaking loaded in Linux using Proton. What the hell? <laughs> like, I can't fathom what's going on with it. I just, I don't know. I don't know why it's working, but it's working. I'm, I'm hoping and praying that this is the trend moving forward in that EAC. Oh, let me turn this down. Uh, I might have to turn it down on the recording too. Let's do that just for a minute. So I'm hoping that this is the path forward and that EAC implements this in all of the other games that use ES EAC. Now keep in mind, EAC, just like any other type of software, has multiple versions. So there's games running older versions. There's games running newer versions. This is obviously a... It's got to be some kind of new version. Either that or they just flip some switch that allows games to run and wine. Um, but yeah, it's working. I'm going to shut up now and do some gameplay. And, uh, just a forewarning, I'm terrible at this game, so don't expect anything crazy, but I just, it's more so just sh to show you it works. Uh, some quirks. There are some, some network issues. Uh, it disconnects from chat a lot. Sometimes it'll tell you that it failed for matchmaking, but it'll still put you into a match and it works perfectly fine. Um, I think those issues are not EAC related. I think those are related to some of the recent work that's been being done on the networking side of Wine slash Proton. Uh, from Wine version 6.8 up, there's been a lot of uh, work being done on WS232, which controls... Uh, basically most of your network connectivity within various games and we've seen we through if anybody's been keeping track of the various recent releases since like 6.8 up you'll notice that there's there's been constant changes and fixes and breaks and regressions uh, regarding that 614 is pretty stable so far everything's been pretty good but like I said there's just a couple of quirks you'll notice them um, but yeah, let's let's hop into it. Damn, we made it. OK, 
Okay, I came in at the end of that match. So we got a freebie. I mean, as you can see at the bottom, it says match making field. It searches for a while, then it'll say this, but it still connects you and still allows you to play. And that doesn't always happen, just FYI. Worry about me. Worry about yourself. We've almost made it! Almost. Should be able to get over the bridge to safety. Grenade here! Y'all ready? There's the bridge. Well, anyone got any better ideas? Fine. So what say we get our sweet little patooties across that river? Finger! That'll wake them up! Ooh. Reloading! What the fuck, guys? You okay? Over, Joe. Team en route to blow George Washington Bridge. We cannot delay. Do you come? Need to move. <laughs> Handgun! <laughs> Need that. Has to be a way to proceed. Razor wire here. Sight. This is a fight we can win. Run! Pipe bomb here. Phillips, you got your ears on? We're 
the old Washington Bridge, and we've got the host of hell on our heels. Over. Shit. What the Reloading. hell, Molly? Shit! We're here. Right. As you can see, it works. It works freaking awesome. Yes, my FPS is ridiculous. I do have FSR enabled. Um, but yeah, it's it's freaking cool. Uh, anyway, that's all I wanted to do. I talked a way more than I wanted to. I wanted to show more gameplay, but obviously that was a pretty quick match. Uh, anyway, it's awesome. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm going to try and get some more FSR testing done with this APU because I know a lot of people are running on lower end hardware and hopefully, I mean obviously a 5700G is still 8 core 16 threads, but it would be nice to see how the GPU side of the APU works uh, with FSR. I never know how to end these videos, but anyway, bye!